Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eva and this is Harley, my two years old Dogo Argentino. And today I wanted to talk about if a Dogo Argentino is the ultimate dog breed. And by that, I mean the ultimate dog breed for me, not in general. I don't want to argue about, you know, in the comments, no, Kangal is the most, you know, dangerous dog, the most difficult dog. No, I'm talking about myself because I'm already researching the breed for my next dog. It's not going to be anytime soon because I want to move first somewhere far away with a land with some acres because living in the city with a dog or Argentina it's not so easy look at that craziness see that oh please don't run into me so as I was um thinking of the next breed I asked myself the question is the dog or Argentina the most difficult to own the ultimate dog breed and I honestly think that it is the breeds I consider are King Corso Dutch Shepherd Doberman uh, and I think that's it and another dog and the reason why I don't necessarily want another doggo is because I don't think so I can get any harder breed than a doggo. And here is why. They need daily exercise. Sometimes it's beyond, you know, my capacity, to be honest with you. As you see right now, she's absolutely crazy. We are going to the forest right now and uh, I'm looking for something a little bit different this time. And by that I mean, I want handler oriented dog, not nature oriented dog, like a doggo Argentino is. This is what she loves, okay? It's not me, it's not my person. When once she's out in this kind of development, nothing else matter for her nothing else matter just this <laughs> so if there is anything to chase anything you know to stretch her legs she will go after it and as my next talk i would like something that i can do obedience work my absolute dream is to do personal protection with a dog dog argentina as tough as they are they are not really guard dogs there are lots of people I will be right back so as much as uh, Dogo is great guard dog I feel like in the protection world there is not that many of them and I would really really have to look for the right breeder to find the right dog with the right temperament for this type of training but at the same time the Malinois I think will be a little bit too much for me because they just want to work all day long, every single day, and I would like sometimes a break. So I'm leaning towards Doberman. Anyway, also, King Corso. This was also a strong consideration for me, but the only reason I don't like about King Corso is the weight. They are super heavy dogs, and it just could be a little bit too much for me to feed and to handle myself, right? I'm 100 pounds myself, and the dog is way heavier than I am. Hi. So, yes, and also there's lots of debate about Dogo Argentino versus King Corso. And I think that's not really accurate because they were bred for totally something else. Dogo Argentino is a hunting breed. It's, uh, you know, you all know that it was bred for hunting wild boar and big game in general. And uh, King Corso is a guard dog. So they are more like family oriented and uh, I think maybe it's a little bit better to be a pet 
think also rather than Dogo Argentino. Also, I want to make a video about Dogo Argentino as a pet and how people hate when I say that my Dogo Argentino is a pet. But she doesn't have... Harry, come here! She doesn't have an official work per se. So what else is she if not a pet, right? She doesn't go to work every single day. We don't do that. But I will talk about this another day. Today I just wanted to talk if the Dogo Argentino is the ultimate dog breed, the most difficult and all. I absolutely love the look of a Dogo Argentino. That dog is so gorgeous, so beautiful. Everything about her is perfect. And I know my dog is much skinnier than an average Dogo, but still. I absolutely love her look the most, so <laughs> she is definitely the ultimate, the most beautiful dog. I totally agree with that. And also another reason why I'm kind of like, oh, do I really need to, you know, find myself another favorite breed is because I love how this dog looks like. And even though I am leaning towards Doberman so much, I think that they are not as beautiful as dogs are so yes they are definitely the most beautiful dogs out there especially with the crop ears but not necessary hi come here i don't see you there okay what else i'm actually on a word and that's totally different you know experience of me to film but i think you know it's nice it's enjoyable it's not that many people today Thankfully, because that park is quite, quite busy. Ali, look! Holy shit, dog. You're crazy. You know you're crazy. More reasons why the dog Argentino is the ultimate dog. I think I kind of covered that, that they need so much exercise and so much training, but also their aggression towards other dogs and people and the importance of the training and generally speaking the importance of being a good leader i hate the word alpha i absolutely hate it so i'm gonna use the word leader instead the importance of being a good leader to this breed to avoid any type of behavioral issues it's insane you need to be on top of those dogs at least for the first few years all the time otherwise they're gonna go crazy and they will run the show in your house and you don't want that if you let your dog argentino loose and don't train your dog you're gonna meet a lot of problems behavioral problems any type of problems how this way because they need that leadership that's why they are not good for average household and that's why they are the ultimate breed there is no mistakes with them you need to be really really fair but at the same time they are quite sensitive i would say they are not oh my god what a mad that tough the training needs to be sensitive you can just you know slice you can just go and uh, be mean to them you can be mean to any dog really Holly, look Holly, look you want your ball you want your ball holy shit look at the mud what did i do how you come Oh my god. Okay, take that stupid ball and come. I made a huge mistake letting you in. Come on, Harry. Oh, it's underwater now. <laughs> it's sink in completely. What have I done? I had no idea it's gonna be that muddy. Oh, sure, you want that ball now. Okay, Harry, come show yourself here. Come. Hi. Look at that muddy dog now. Hi, come here. Look at that. Look at that. She's gonna go to my car like that. Ah, uh -uh, leave it now. 
Hi, leave it. Don't oh, leave it, don't leave it. Look at that. Now we have to go for a longer walk to wash you off. Okay, leave it, Harry, leave it. I know there is a ball. It was all bald anyway. Broken already. Okay, let's keep walking for a walk. Leave it, Harley, come. Maybe we have to go back. Hi. Come in. Who's that good girl? Who's that good girl, Harley? Look at you. See, she's not that oriented. I mean, she's not that focused on me because she is outdoor and I'm looking for something that's more into me than everything else around them. So summarizing, I think the girl Argentina, it is the toughest and the hardest breed to own because of how much dedication you need and how much training you need and management and everything like that. Ali, you gonna say bye before we go? See, she sees a dog over there, by the way. So, yeah, the amount of work and daily, the daily exercise, I would say it's the hardest for me because of um, my responsibility at home. You know, I don't only have her, if I only had a dog and no kids, it would be totally different situation, but because there is so much to do with the kids on a daily basis and, you know, household, housework, and everything and i don't work you know if i work it would be even hardest so exercise training the potential aggression and the potential uh, risk that you know if your dog or argentino it's not trained that potential risk that can happen makes the dog the most difficult breed i think the toughest breed so I forgot to talk about the prey drive. The prey drive is one of the reasons why the Argentina is the most difficult breed because the prey drive is intense more than any other breed. And it's also the reason why I don't want any more hunting breed. It's not only that she's a hunting breed, so she has a high prey drive, but it's also that because she was bred to hunt wild boar and all, she is a strong dog that can cause a lot of damage to other dogs potentially right to the cats it's really a pain in the house sometimes to like have around the cat constantly how do you come i hope they will recall that dog i'll put it on the leash because my dog it's not friendly look how she looks Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy today's work and I hope we will see you with my next video. Bye guys.